Dear all, welcome to the playlist of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this session, I will be discussing 3 volt meter method. First of all, let me ask one question. Why 3 volt meter method is required? Yes, the 3 volt meter method is mainly required to measure the resistance and inductance of a given choke coil. So, this is one of the popular method. Let us understand how to conduct the experiment on 3 volt meter method to compute unknown inductance and resistance. In order to conduct the experiment, we require the following equipments. First of all, we need a choke coil. Then we require 3 volt meter in the range of 0 to 300 volt. It is an AC meter, so it is known as MI, moving iron. Then we need an ammeter in the range of 0 to 1 ampere. It is also moving iron type because it is an AC circuit. We require a current limiting resistor. You can use rheostat, 50 ohm, 3 amps. And also we need a connecting wires. Do remember, please make sure that uh, you are checking continuity by using multimeter. Use the continuity test. So that we can able to confirm the continuity of the wire. First of all, you have to consider the circuit diagram. Connections are done as per the circuit diagram. Before that, you need to verify how about the circuit. This is your supply terminal, phase and neutral. We need to apply single phase, 230 volt, 50 hertz AC supply. And this is your fuse and neutral link. If you want, you can represent the neutral link like this to prevent the return path, neutral link. Okay. And we, ha we have dimmer stat. You can call it as an auto transformer in the range of 0 to 270 volt and 2 ampere. Next, let us consider 3 volt meter. So, this is your volt meter 1 in the range of 0 to 300 volt moving iron. And uh, this is your another volt meter in the range of 0 to 300 volt moving iron. And uh, this is your third volt meter method that is connected across your choke. This is also in terms of moving iron. And we require one ammeter in the range of 0 to 5 ampere. Okay, you can use it as AC. Okay, like this you can able to uh, make because uh, since it is an AC circuit, this is the way how to depict an AC meter. Do remember that. These connections are very important. So, first of all, you have to do the parallel connection. First of all, you have to do the series connection. Then finally, you can connect the voltmeter in parallel. So, that is a procedure. Clear? Yeah, series connection should be done first. Afterwards, you can go ahead with the parallel connection. Let us see, read the procedure. So, connections are done as per the circuit diagram. Later on, supply switch is closed. Supply voltage will be varied with the help of auto transformer. Say, you can take the reading like uh, 50 volt. 80 volt, 100 volt, 120 volt, likewise as your wish. I will be showing you the demonstration very clearly. Then after taking out the reading of a meter and then 3 volt meter, you can uh, turn off the supply. Supply switch will be uh, closed. Sorry, supply switch will be open. In the sense, supply switch will be removed. Okay, so that uh, supply will be shut down. So this is a simple procedure. Okay, so go through the circuit diagram very clearly. So once the circuit is done, once you rigged up the circuit diagram successfully, turn on the supply. By adjusting the auto transformer, you have to take the value like uh, 40 volt or 50 volt, 60 volt, depends. Okay, uh, there is no restriction. Anyway, finally, you are supposed to compute the unknown resistance and the inductance of the choke coil. First of all, I would like to show you the demonst uh, demonstration. Before showing you the demonstration, let me familiar. What are the experimental setup? So, number one, this is your auto transformer. Uh, number two, uh, this is your first voltmeter V1. This is your V1 AC voltmeter. So here I have used a multimeter. You can set the multimeter mode as AC voltmeter. So this is your ammeter. It is also an AC meter because it's an AC circuit, no? And uh, this is your uh, voltmeter two V2. Okay, it's also an AC meter. This is your voltmeter three. How many readings we require? We require four readings. One is V1 then V2, V3 and uh, a meter reading. Four readings are supposed to be taken. Now let us go through the demonstration. So I have pre done the video. Let me show you what I did. Okay, first of all, you have to do the connections. Connections are done as per the circuit diagram. Uh, once you have done the connections, now let me see, see, let me familiar. This is your auto transformer, then V1, then this is your rheostat. Okay, where is the rheostat? I will clearly mention. This is your rheostat. Uh, then uh, this is your ammeter. And uh, this will be the choke coil. Look at the choke coil. And uh, this is your V2. And this meter is belong to V3. So remember all the uh, 
components we have connecting wires connections are done successfully okay so afterwards what you are supposed to do you can turn on the supply supply has been turned on now what you are supposed to do is by using auto transformer just observe what i am doing with the help of auto transformer i will be applying certain voltage v1 say 60 volt i have applied 60 volt what do you do next next you are supposed to measure the current in the ammeter next v2 in the second volt meter then you are supposed to measure v3 so readings are tabulated you are supposed to tabulate the reading okay readings are to be tabulated afterwards supply 70 volt same procedure measure the current measure the voltmeter reading second voltmeter reading and the third voltmeter reading this is your show coil afterwards what you are supposed to do apply 70 volt you are applying the 70 volt now you are supposed to measure the current then second voltmeter reading and the third voltmeter reading same procedure at least if you are having five members you can uh, go for the five readings you better do the calculation separately now we will be applying certain voltage and you will be calculating once you have done once you have completed so you can convert the auto transformer into zero position of the supply okay so this is the way how to conduct the experiment so afterwards what you are supposed to do so once you have done the experiment uh, you are supposed to tabulate so v1 then v2 v3 and the current all the reading should be tabulated okay next is calculation part i will show you how to do the calculation first in the foremost you are supposed to calculate power factor how do you calculate power factor yes there is a formula please remember cos phi is equal to v1 square minus v2 square minus v3 square whole divided by 2 into v2 into v3 please remember this formula you can derive but uh, der derivation is not required for your laboratory first of all you have to remember the formula once i get the value of cos phi i need to calculate the phi how do you calculate the phi phi is nothing worse take the cos inverse okay cos inverse v1 square v1 square minus uh, v2 square minus v, v3 square divided by 2 v2 v3 okay 2 into v2 into v3 once i get the value of phi i can easily calculate sin phi till this you are supposed to do afterwards what you are supposed to do is i need to calculate the value of resistance how do you calculate the value of resistance r is equal to z into cos phi let me know how do you get the value of z yes it is very simple z is equal to third voltmeter reading divided by ammeter reading v3 divided by i once i get the value of uh, resistance you can confirm this is the value of unknown resistance of the given coil next you have to calculate inductive reactance there is a formula xl is equal to z into sin phi z is equal to v3 by i so i will be getting inductive reactance now once you get the value of inductive reactance you can able to calculate inductance how do you calculate you know inductive reactance is equal to l into omega where omega is the angular frequency therefore i can easily calculate the value of l so note down l is equal to how to calculate uh, xl by omega xl by omega so i will be writing here uh, l is equal to xl divided by what is omega omega is nothing but 2 into pi into f where f is the supply frequency ok uh, xl divided by 2 pi m then i can easily get the value of unknown inductance see so resistance will be noting down here then inductive reactance will be calculated by using the formula xl is equal to l omega later on i will be calculating the value of l from this form from this equation xl is equal to l omega then l is equal to uh, how to calculate i already explained xl is equal to l omega okay very clearly you can note xl is equal to l omega l is equal to xl by omega xl by omega so unknown inductance is determined in this manner okay remember the calculation so we have determine the unknown value of inductance and resistance of a given choke coil so this is my reference textbook of basic electrical engineering by dc kurish, kurish chetra Good. then uh, if you are having any queries you can put up in the comment box okay finally 
Thank you for watching this video. Kindly share same video with your